It was meant to be half of my life on it. I ain't come this far just to die from it. You ain't on my way, no. Get out my way, in no way I'ma stop till I'm gone. Yo, it's my boy Serion coming out with his new album called Nebula. Not everybody you love applies, okay? Got your girl Tiffany J on the first track. Check him out. Get out my way, in no way I'ma stop till I'm gone. Say that you want me. Say that you need me now. Say that you want me. Say that you need me now. Mm-hmm. Coming up is high. Thinking about you. Can we till next time? Secret knocks on the door. You're the John door I've been waiting for. What you gonna do? What you got planned? What's in your mind? Down to explore. This John door I've been waiting for. Say that you want me. Say that you need me now mm, It's funny, it's burning Into you Remember last time It's funny, it's burning Into you Remember last time Now I'm here What you got plans in your mind Come for whatever Did you know I'm gonna come with it Come with the ten minutes I want you staring to these pretty brown eyes <laughs> Hey guys, this is Tiffany J Coming to you live Ten minutes with yours truly I hope you like the show Check it out Hey friend So this is Tiffany J And I just wanted to do a specific letter to you Right? Or a note to you Or an address to you And I want to say that you say your life is in shambles or you say like you got to get it together. And what I want to say to you is um, you are not alone and no, your life is not in shambles. It's not. You are going to probably in the near future look back on today and just be like, oh, my gosh, you know, why did I think that? Or, oh, if I only knew, you know, everything that everything would pan out. Okay. So what I want to say to you is, yes, sometimes right now in the very present that we're in, it feels like everything is going wrong and it's okay. Your feelings are valid. It's perfectly fine to feel that way. Trust. I get it. But I want you to also think on these things too. continue to have goals, continue to have dreams, continue to wake up in the morning and be thankful that you're alive and that the sun is shining or that this the day has begun and continue to strive forward. I have had plenty of things that I've wanted to accomplish by said date or said age or said time. Or I've had events and things and they didn't turn out the way that I wanted them to turn out, right? But in the end, overall, every turn of the year, when I look back over my year and I say, you know what? These are the things that I set out to do. This is what I actually have done. This is what didn't occur, but it's okay. And this is what I actually learned in the process. Like, it makes me so happy to know that I'm not where I was last year. And then not even wait an entire year. Sometimes I give myself, excuse me, I give myself smaller goals. Like, not even a month or not even a quarter, not even a month. Sometimes just the day. Can I make it through this day or not even the day? Can I just say, you know what, if I can just wake up and get out the bed and get my clothes together and take a shower, let me just do that first. And then after that, let me set another goal. Let me set another goal to put on my favorite perfume so I can just feel uh, heavenly. And then after that, let me figure out what I'm going to eat before I head off to work. And then once I get that, usually I'm pretty, I'm pretty set. So for me... Like, I get it when you have those days where you're super anxious, trying to get over a depressive moment state of mind that you've been in. Um, Your anxiety is high and you are just stuck in your tracks. Like, I get it. Trust. I understand. What do you do? Like I said, just set small goals for yourself and just say, okay, the first thing I want to do is just wake up. And that's basically it. And once you've done that, I tell myself, check. Like, yes goal accomplished and I give myself like a a congratulatory like self-talk like you did it you woke up you made it all right the next goal Tiffany is whatever that next goal is 
And so let's say you've set your goals. Everything's been going pretty smooth. You've been doing this for about a couple days now. And then that one day where you actually set your goals and then something wrong happens that wasn't in your plan. Now you're freaking out. You're stuck. And you feel terrible all over again. So what do you do? When those days happen, I also tell myself, as I'm setting my goals and my plans for the day, I have to actively say, Tiffany, leave room for changes, leave room for adjustments and be okay with them because it may not go to plan. I do this all the time, like when I get ready to go to work and let's say I've prepared a certain workload for myself and my coworkers and perhaps you know, more people come to the counter that particular day. So if I wanted to get 15 things done and I was only now because of the customers able to get 10 or less things done, I have to leave room for that adjustment. And then I tell myself, you know what, it's okay. Let's rework the plan to, you know, to accomplish this said goal. And it's okay. It's very difficult to do that. Sometimes your mind can be so set and so rigid where... Yeah, it, it, it causes you to freeze and then procrastinate and then everything just spirals out of control. And so when those things happen, I kind of stop. I stop in my tracks. I stop everything. You know, once I get a moment to kind of like stop doing the initial task at hand, like if I have customers, I'll handle them. But then if I can dip off to the side or whatever, I really stop and I take a moment for myself and I say like, Like I talk to myself and I say, what just happened? And I say, okay, this is what just happened. And this is how it made me feel like it's okay to feel this way. Um, But now what do I need to do to get over it or get through it? Maybe not get over it, but get through it, get past it, move forward. I can still feel this way. All I want to is perfectly fine, but I have to get through this moment. Do I need to stay in the moment? for a little bit to get through this moment do I need to talk to someone to get through this moment how do I make myself whole how do I feel myself again to get past and through this moment do I need to take a break do I need to get something to eat do I need to take a nap do I need to say you know what I need to step away and have a mental health day what do I need to do what will make me feel better if I think on those things it's like getting to know me on such a deeper intimate level than ever before and then when I do that I can actually present myself better to anyone else that I interact with do you know at my job sometimes we would be at the counter maybe like for four hours at a time and through all of that time if I had to go to the bathroom I wouldn't go to the bathroom and that's not good and so Um, definitely like going into my surgery and after my surgery, I've been making sure that I learn and know how to put myself first always. And so there are times where if I need to go to the bathroom in between like a consultation or right before I meet someone, I tell them, I say, you know what? I was planning on going to the restroom. Like, do you mind? Like if I can go and they say, no, go right ahead. Or if I need to step away from it, Hey, do you mind? I just need to step away for a second. I'll be right back. Or if I'm trying to finish a project or I'm gluing something down, I say, Hey, like, give me a second. I'm gluing this down. I don't want it to set before, you know, we get talking. So just let me finish this. And they're fine. People do it all the time. They set boundaries. They make requests, demands. They do it all the time. So why can't, why can't we do it? You know, for ourselves, why? Do we put ourselves less than others? Like, what is that? So, yeah, I say this to you, my very special friend that is listening to this. Like, I say this to you because you are valid. You are important. You are you are great. And whatever it is that you want to do in life, you can do. It may not come right now. It may not be everything that you thought it was going to be. But I promise you, if you continue to stay diligent um, hopeful, positive, consistent, like it will come. We all have flaws and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But you have to actively sit down and lay out all of your flaws and say, okay, these are the things that I want to work on. And no, you don't have to work on all of them at the same time. What I do for the year, I have 
yearly goals, not necessarily resolutions, but I would say like, this is what my focus is going to be for this year. And I promise you, well, at least for me, every goal that I've set out to do, like it's, it's come to pass and yeah, it's come to pass. So I just wanted to take the time to, I just wanted to take the time to kind of share a few things on your behalf. So to close, remember, you can do anything you set your mind to. Everything may not come when you want it. Why do I sound like I'm about to sing a song or something like that? Oh my gosh, it may not come exactly when you want how you want, but please, please, please don't give up. Your life is not in shambles. Like we all go through those moments where you're like, what is going on? Um, you may be getting ready to hit a milestone birthday. You may be getting ready to approach a new career, um, a new career venture. You may be risking, um, a new idea and saying, okay, I'm going to step out and do something totally different. I'm going to step down and do X, Y, and Z. You may be leaving a relationship. You may be stepping into a relationship. I don't know. Whatever it is, just know that each day is going to be better than the next or better than the day before I would say and that I'm looking for like I'm looking for growth just from if I can't do an entire year an entire quarter month or a week or a day I'm just looking for growth from the next moment to moment like that's really what I'm looking for so if you just set small goals for yourself and just celebrate the fact that you made it through that moment like that's that's literally what I had to do to get out of my depression I you know if something positive happened I would say yes like I did that you know it's important for your own sanity for your own you know peace of mind it's important because if nobody else cheers you cheers you on like you got to be the one to do that nobody else is responsible for your happiness or to validate you but you so yeah not your friends not your family like they're not responsible for that You have to be able to do that. So I charge you, I challenge you to just do moment to moment. And I I challenge you, you have to promise me that you are going to congratulate yourself when you do something positive. And you have to promise me that you're going to take time for yourself to figure out what fills you up and makes you whole and makes you happy. Especially in those moments when you need to step back and pour back into you. Please do that for me. And thank you so much for listening. You mean so much to me. Thank you. That was another edition of 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves because I know I did. You can find more episodes on my website, www.tjayetaylor.com and go to podcasts. But don't stop there. Hop on over to the music tab and rock out to your favorite Tiffany J record, starting with my latest single, Work For It, available for streaming and downloads on all major platforms with a bomb video showcase on YouTube featuring the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, y'all, this is for the few people that I rock with. And if you want to connect with any of them for their expertise and their craft, hit me up so that I can link you. First, I want to shout out my indie label, 646 Entertainment Group. It's a one-stop shop for the ultimate music experience, artist development, engineering, road management, business awareness on how to properly release your songs, get royalties, and more. Next, I want to shout out No Gossip, Just Talk with Tanisha and Mitra, who inspired me to step outside of my comfort zone and start this podcast. I pop up every now and then with a topic, and we have a blast with Girl Talk 101. Special attention needs to be drawn to my boy, Serian, for answering my prayers and becoming a part of my journey musically and beyond. More to come as life unfolds. I'll save some for later. Now, my jewel, no pun intended, is my accountability partner, 
who has like the exact same mind as me. When we link, things happen in the atmosphere. I am so glad we crossed paths. Angel, my love, you are an inspiration. Dance fitness is a lifestyle, and you do it with such ease. If anyone wants to be fit, curvy, wavy, let me know. We can get our dance craze on with Angel. She's also one of the guests of No Gossip Just Talk, so make sure you check her out there. Last but not least for now, the Purple Charlotte Steppers Club, which embodies an entire dance community of some of the best people I've met on the planet. You'll see me live there Thursday at 6.30 on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram with the Purple Thursday Experience. Now, if you listening to this need ad space and want to join the platform, DM me and we'll discuss membership so that we can get your business out there. Reserve your spot as next with Purple Charlotte Steppers Club. You all take care. What's up, Dance World? This is your boy, Herschel KG. This beautiful lady is... I'm Tiffany J. If you missed out last week, you do not want to miss out this week because no. last week was lit. Amazing. So, if you want to be in the building, make sure you go to purplecharlotte.com. Purple reserve your spot. Yeah. Okay? And if you can't make it, it's all right because you can go to Purple Charlotte Steppers Club on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and do what? Join us live. 6.30 on Thursdays. We'll see you there, okay? We your host, Tiffany J. Herschel KG. Uh, Deuces. We'll see you there.